Welcome back to Darksiders 3, and in this episode we'll be speaking with Ulthain to upgrade my weapons, and then we'll be fighting Lust. But anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so I do plan on upgrading Salvation some more, because I do want it to be able to do more damage, even if I'm just using it as like a opening thing. And I'll see if I can upgrade other things as well. Let's get Salvation upgraded once, for now, and then upgrade my whip as much as I can. Some of my best work. Some of my best work. Pretty good. Okay, that increases damage by 10 for the next one. Maybe I'll buy some more slivers. Or Salvation. Let me do that. Can I enhance anything? Let's see what that can do for you. Yeah, I haven't found any angelic ones lately. Hmm. There's angelic, which increases evade. Let me continue looking around for a minute. Damn, we have five demonic ones. Oh, what beautiful havoc you'll wreak with that. Aiming to lay down a mighty hurt. Oh, oh, what beautiful havoc you'll wreak with that. Hmm. I want to try to get Salvation to be using the upgrade materials I was just using on the barbs of school. Interesting. Aiming to lay down a mighty anything that was possible. Oh, what beautiful thing that was possible. There we go. Now, even deadlier. That's good. Interesting. Take care. And uh, watch your back, eh? Actually, okay, I think about it. Right. Let's see what I can do for you. I want to use that or don't worry. I feel like more evading, so I'll do that on this. What beautiful havoc you'll wreak with that. Damn, that's a much bigger window when you upgrade it fully. Interesting. Take care. And uh watch your back, eh? So once I have this on, this should be good, and I think I'm ready for less now. Particularly lusty location, is it? Have you learned nothing? Appearances can be deceiving. Besides, lust never appears as expected. What exactly did you mean by that? The notion of sin is one thing, the concept of lust is something else entirely. Especially humanity's concept of lust. I see. As in, a lust for. You name it. The humans have quite the imagination. Lust is everything to everyone. That's what makes lust dangerous. Too dangerous, mistress? No such thing. I didn't want to try my luck walking over that water when they were talking in case it killed me. Oh, this is Lust's fire right here. Can you guess what I lust after? In this broken world, what is left to want? Power. Hmm. I always thought you were the smart one. Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect. Just your head! <laughs> Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. 
They aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fable whip. I am above your distractions, lost. Really, the truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reason behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power and privilege and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Stand down, Fury. Death, what are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. Mm. The mission? The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we have exposed a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and Hell working in secret consort. To bring about the apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. The Chart Council has dispatched us, together, to wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked will be punished. You mean... all of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. And in honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause, the Council has decreed that you will lead the Horsemen. You, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you. Set aside the past, sister. Today, we live in service to you. I will be done. This is not real! What? Oh, it was worth a shot. You think you know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm, the power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. You should not have made them kneel! All right, time to fight. Let's here we go. There, didn't expect her to slash two times there. Ah. Damn, not used to her attacks yet. You could disable the others. Ow. 
A deal with you isn't half as appealing as a deal with me. Don't listen! I can return your sweet little angels to their former glory. Yes, if you just protect me from this terrible woman. Oh, seal! And won't it be glorious when you march back to the gates of heaven with your numbers restored? Ah, shut up! And restore truth, the righteousness to that befouled. Your truth, Archangel, you see. Heaven under your command. Wouldn't that be lovely? The Seventh Legion. Alive and whole. Restoring glory. Our deal is revoked. No, Seal! <laughs> Won't this be fun? Create a two on one now. You won't accept my generosity. I'm done with angels. I can't. Damn it, you seal. Or you seal, or you're supposed to say your name. God damn it, I lost my frickin' hollow. Hey, I'm a quick jerk, cutscene. Ow. Need to heal. Oh, the hell with this. Hopefully this will let me hit both of them. And it is, that's nice. So, this should let me get a decent amount of damage on both of them. I don't know how much I'll do, but... I wonder if I get blessed all the way down and I'll still have to fight Lucille. I'll assume my point. Damn it, damn it. There it is. Healing shirt. Ow. Almost down. This might actually knock them both out. Who gave you the power to raise the dead? <laughs> the one constant in the universe. Those who possess the most power inevitably crave more. Lust is everlasting. As for who? Know this. I was merely a pawn. A feeling you know all too well. Fury. The angels who killed your steed. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me. And I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. And why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. Attractive offer. Huh? But I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself.
At your core, you were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Finish it. I am ready. <sighs> I think not. Mistress! Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. Lucille's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I... don't know what to say. Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight. But my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy shown to a filthy angel? Just as soon have your head on a pike! Are you or are you not a Watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance, in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think that's what I'm here to find out. It's just surprising, no, refreshing to see something headed in the opposite direction. You are coming into a greater awareness of the flaws that kept you in chains. Flaws? Shall I list them? No, thank you. I've seen enough recently to know they are many. Which is exactly why I give you this. And by holding it, the raw power of force itself is yours. It vibrates in my hand. I don't understand. <laughs> when the time comes, you will know when and how to use it. No, not yet! Force hollow. Press 3 to activate. All right. Uh, this isn't where I was before. Let's see what Balgrim has to say now. Greetings. Nothing new, huh? Okay. Thought maybe you'd have like a crucible thing to say or something. Okay. You don't have anything else for me, do you, though? And I don't even have the souls if you did. Uh, do make sure they scream, Horseman. All right, so this is a hammer. I thought that's what it was. Okay, cool. All right, so that's going to be the end of this episode. On Monday, I'll continue off where I left off here and search for the next sin, which I don't know what one that will be. I'll probably have to use the force hollow to get there, though. But anyway, until next time.